Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, April 3rd, 2024. It's another beautiful Wednesday morning. And as we look forward to today, I pray that the Lord will go with us. And as we continue to look to him, may he grant us his choices, blessings. Our reading today comes to us from Job. We will continue where we left off yesterday. So we will begin from verse 12 and continue to verse 22. It says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Job, and said, The oxen were ploughing, and the asses feeding beside them. And the Sabines fell upon them, and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another, and said, The fire of God is falling from heaven, and had burnt up the sheep and the servants, and consume them, and I only am escape alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another, and said, The Chaldeans made out three bands, and fell upon the camels, and have carried them away, yea, and slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escape alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another, and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness, and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. And I only am escape alone to tell thee. Then Job arose and rent his mantle, and shaved his head, and fell down upon the ground, and worshipped, and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord had taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His word. Now, as we continue to look at the story of Job, we will see what has been happening with him and how he dealt with his trials now one day job children they gathered together at one of the siblings house and they were having a feast or in our time i guess we would say they were having a, a party or a get together and job got news that his flock was raided by raiders and they were were stolen and that his servant they were destroyed or murdered and, and killed. And three times before the first servant even finished speaking, the next servant come. And everything just happened in such a sequential order. It's like Satan wanted Job to know that, look here man, I'm giving you reason to give up. So as one person don't talk, the next person show up and start to explain what is happening so he always left one person alive right someone to tell the tale and then the fourth time now while he was there he got further news that a wind came out of nowhere and destroy the children in the house of the sibling that they were having the the get together and destroy them and kill them you know i just can't get over how he responded to all of this job lost everything in one day and how he chose to respond to his loss was to give god the glory was to worship god he never chose to allow his pain to get the better of him and that is what we have to learn also we can't allow our pain and our suffering to get the better of us Take the burden to Jesus. Give him thanks for the opportunity that you had to even hold on to the blessing for a while. So Job, he never cursed God and he never 
charge God foolishly. He respected, love, and serve him, even in his darkest hour. Amen. He said he came from his mother's womb naked, and so he shall return. And that God give and God take it away. And he's going to bless the name of the Lord forever. And the final verse said that what? In all that he went through, Job did not sin once. He never cursed God or anything. And that is something amazing. And why do I say it is amazing? Because what? Most people would not have taken that response. And do you believe that Job could have taken that stand by his own self? Of course not. He could have only taken that stand because he had a relationship with God and he understood that, look here, my life and who I am is not in the things that I possess, but it is in God and God alone. And so, if I lose everything, I still have everything. And I say, Amen. And so when we are going through our trials, when we are going through our ups and downs, we should not allow the situation to draw us away from God, but we should pull closer to Him. Because remember, the same God that gave us these things, the same God that gave you your children, that bless you with your spouses, your wives and your husbands, that bless you with your home, your car, your job, and how much money in the bank. This same God, He will be there when you have nothing left. And since He is the one that bless you with these things, you haven't really lost anything. Because He can bless you with even more than you lost. Yes, I know it hurts, but remember that. That's a temporary pain. That is why I want to encourage somebody this morning. Whatever it is that you may be going through, some of us, we suffer loss. We lose our family members. And sometimes in such gruesome ways, we lose money. We lose our home. We lose our jobs. We, we suffer. Let's, not, let, let's be real. We do suffer and we experience hardship and pain but how we choose to respond to our pain and how we choose to respond to god that is what is going to make all the difference in the end okay job he experienced complete loss but instead of wallowing in self-pity instead of cursing god instead of looking to himself the first thing he did was turn to God. And that's what we need to do. When we are going through our trials, turn to God. Ask him for help. And he will not fail you. May God continue to bless you. And may God continue to keep you. Amen.